team ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Big stop right there. And that doesn't reach the net. Herbert's going to hang on for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Knocked away by Walsh. Fires it on net. Can't get it to go. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Henestroza. Trying to shake loose. With the pass. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Moves it quickly over to Shea. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Rakula's got the puck along the wing. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a body. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Handles the puck. Wilkesbury Scranton's in now. Providence has got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Bruins played along the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. Picks up the puck in his own end. Moves it to Smith. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Anson's has it in their own end. The Penguins work it through center. And he loses control here. Taken along the wall by Hall. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Arsenal. All alone! Oh, absolutely crutch at the stop! Oh, well, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Skates to the crease! Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. You don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you wanna kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Harrison's got it in the offensive zone. Sends a pass over, and makes a save. you got to be smart about it. You have to allow your opponent to move freely to find that puck. You get in the way a little bit, but too much, you're going to get the interference call. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Tries to feed it over to Samaluka. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice, toss up the puck. He 
Jimmy Pietro has made a big save early in the frame here, and that's really important to reset and refocus coming off that blowout loss in that playoff game. Important to really find a way to gain that confidence and composure and get a good start. Taken by Samaruka. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find him, but that's an impressive save. The Bruins get their man back into the box. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking scenes. They got to be better. Pinned up along the boards. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got a hold of it along the wall. Severukov's got it in the defensive end. Receives the pass. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want, and he capitalizes perfectly. Whoops, Brees Grant's won the draw in the neutral zone. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. Providence has been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's in a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Here in the back half of this period, the Penguins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Fadoon's moving the puck through his own zone. Through center along the wing. Centering field. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. Looks to make a play over to Mitchell. Providence has got the puck along the wall. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. And that's broken up. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Pokes it away in his own end. Into the offensive end now. Takes the feed. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Di Pietro. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Anson's wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Here's a short pass to Zabor. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. And that's off a stick. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Centering feed. Scores! What a finish on that play. The goaltender has no chance on this one as his teammate just makes a gift of a pass right into his wheelhouse and he just powders it by. Anson's takes possession after that center ice faceoff. Joshua is a true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Pass back to the point. Puck scooped up by Harrison. The Bruins will play from the defensive zone. Jabs the puck away. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Puts the puck on net. He scores! There's the collect them all. Oh, this is going to take some time, but man, has he ever had an effective night. He had two, and he was thinking three all the way. The 
The Penguins wanted to generate a lot of offense going into this one. They have succeeded in that game plan already here late in the first. Poulin's won the draw. Takes the pass. Chosses the puck loose. Quick pass to Poulin. Here's a shot. And that goes off force off a body. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the lead here late in this first period. Poulin's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Back to the point it goes. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And he takes the dish. Poulin's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Being down by a bunch of goals and then you get running around with frustration and out of control and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. That's moved up ahead. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Penguins played along the wing. And he takes the feed. Takes it to the net. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. McLaughlin's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Oh, that's off the blocker. What a stop by Helper. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Providence is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. Shea stick handling in his own zone. Takes the puck and will retreat back to his own end. From off the wall and onto a stick. People excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided to say the least in the first. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this down through the first 20 minutes played? The Marlies were ready to play right from puck drop, James, and put their opponent on their heels. They dictated pace, and in particular, they managed the puck in own possession time. That's great. You still have to finish, and they did it, and they've got a healthy lead. Picked up along the wall by Walsh. Here's a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got that. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Rich shot from the slot. Turns it aside with the glove. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that glove save. Lots of time left in this period. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4 0. The Bruins win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And that goes off the player. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Great use 
of the stick here at center ice. Slides the puck over. Turned aside with the glove by Helberg. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Off the face-off, they take the puck. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Feeds it on over to Rikula. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Great heads up play with the stick by Shea. Grabs the puck in the corner. Fires it. And he was ready for that save. And that's blocked. And he takes the feed. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Oh, they do it again. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Sets the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. by Samarukov. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Wolfsbury Scranton's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here in period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Cuts to the point! Magnus into the offensive zone now on the attack. Shot! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Oh, my goodness, it's Tina. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. has been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. Wilkesbury Scranton's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Slides it diagonally to Renouf. He grabs the puck here at the point. Shot! Oh, and he misses on a great A-plus scoring chance there. Uh, he's right exactly where to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Quick feed to Abigail. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Oh, great little takeaway at center. The Penguins take it along the wall. Providence has got it in their own zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process, and their skill sets. Center and Bede couldn't complete the pass. Trying to get back on the attack now. That goes wide. Loose puck battle along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The league is trying to crack down on the cross-checking penalties here, James. They got to eliminate it from the game. It's dangerous, it's reckless, and guess what? He's going to get the two minutes. set to earn their keep tonight as they'll try to kill off a five-on-three-man advantage. 
With a long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. Coach wants you to be paid. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. Butterfly goaltenders are most confident when they're in that position, but once they drop, it often exposes the top part of the net. That's exactly what happens here, and a beautiful shot by the shooter. Whoops, Grace Scranton's had that magic touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in the game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the puck, stop attacking, but not tonight. They're not. The entire bench, the lineup, such an offensive threat. Line one, right through line four. They've been a wave tonight. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Hittestrosa. Sends it in front. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. And they used their speed on this counterattack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. Whoops, Grace Scranton shown no signs of slowing down here tonight, especially what they've been doing in the offensive zone. Yeah, why would you slow down when you can pad your stats? I mean, they've been all over the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun out there, and they've been a wave right through the bench. On the attack along the boards. Here's a feed and drops. so focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. Well, Chris Scranton's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. Here's a chance! Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Wilkesbury Scranton's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Penalty coming up here. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping ball. Opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Battling for it along the boards. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Puck knocked loose after that hit. And he's knocked off the puck there. Slides the puck to Magda. Over the line they come. Takes a shot. Just slide to the net. A real skill to be and have a heavy shot, and right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Center in the front, and that's blocked in front. Trying to clear the zone. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, when I played, this is my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time, and you knew when that puck was on your stick. You had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you could contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. Here they come on the attack. Makes the save with the trapper. Puts him hard into the wall. Pokes the puck away. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Shot! And he shuts the door on that. Moves it to the wall. Here inside the offensive end, takes the feed from along the boards. And look at this, they turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Skates with it. Oh, another big save. Oh, shoots of pressure here in the offensive end. There's a hit on the play. Takes 
for a poke check by Kapanen. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Penguins win that offensive zone face-off. Here's a short pass to Saboro. Wilkesbury Scranton's got possession of the puck. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Now a quick pass to McLaughlin. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. With possession along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Stopped with ease. Oh, it stops him again. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Dumps it into the Ozone. The Penguins have it now. Shot! Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Pussy! Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Quick shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here we go, on man rush. Moves inside. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Mitchell's lugging the puck. The Penguins have it against the wall. Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed. Oh, there's a fine look. And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Now talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Wilkes three Scranton's having a night, as, as some kids might say, Cheryl. They're balling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got an intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. Great pressure with the stick. bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. No well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Marlins have been terrific tonight, and through 40 minutes of play, they hold a comfortable lead, and this is a great position for a coach and their staff to be in, where they can look down their bench and say, listen, we have a, to utilize our lineup here, all four lines, versatility, get them out there and rest up players for the next game. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck picked up by Shea. Gaining momentum up along the side. Wilkesbury Scranton's playing it from the side. And he can't hang on after that hit. Poked away by Renouf. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. And now it's grabbed by Semerukov. Shea's gaining momentum. Loses his balance on the play. The Bruins gain the zone. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck along the wall. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Stopped by the goaltender. Pelberg's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face-off. Here's a rock and a shot. There's the whistle. We get a face-off after the goalie covers up.
Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick shot! And the lane's clogged up blocking that! And the puck's thrown it away. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Providence has got control of it now from their own end. Shot! Oh, what a great save by Helper! Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And it's kicked away. Smith's got the puck in his own zone. The Penguins looking against the half wall. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Picked up along the boards, dies the horn up. Takes the feed. Denies him in close. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Directed over to Spur. Providence has got the puck against the half wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Coming down the left wing into the zone. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take the penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into a hit, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot, and that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck grab by Renouf. Hall's taking it from his own end. Providence is through center and now in the offensive end. The Penguins have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Providence has got possession while undermanned. From the point, looks to make something happen. And he's got that one. Quick pass to Abandonado. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable. And certainly that, wait a second, James, I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Providence's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an erred opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save! Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's a shot! That's gloved by Hilbert. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Evan Donato's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Takes it into the slot. Dives in front of the shot to block it. And they get the puck out. Moves the puck over to Mercula. The Bruins are on the attack. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck shorthanded. The Bruins' man advantage is over. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Oh, so good. What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. And look at this. They really ratcheted up the intensity here. And they skid it out of the danger zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Nice zone entry from the left. Providence is on the attack. Hit feed to 
to Sabalukov. Helgerm's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Relentless pressure, and there's another great save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And he loses possession after a solid hit. Dishes it to Ensigns. Gets the puck in deep. Providence is going to hold of the puck now. Great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Wilkes Brees Scranton's got the win off that draw. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. And called for the offside, we'll get a face off. The Penguins win the draw. Wilkesbury Scranton's on the attack. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. Providence has got him along the wall. Pass out front. Watch shot. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Penguins send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends the pass in front. He scores! What a goal! I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James, as the puck's below the goal line. You can see him moving to make himself available. And right, right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick. He lets it go for the tally. The Penguins probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency's always the word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. Grabs it at his own end. Moves the puck. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Providence has got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Magda. it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Face off looming as both centers get into position. The Bruins win the draw. Battle along the boards. 
Providence has got a hold of it along the wall. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Can't maintain possession. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Denies that opportunity. Moves it to Magda. Under a minute to go in the third. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Puts it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to McLaughlin. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Scooped up along the wall by Hinestrosa. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Wilkes Free Scranton's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. Providence is going to start with the puck in their own end. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard earned victory. Hilbert's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. Anson just won the draw inside his own end. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. Cheryl, the power of a locked-in tendy tonight. The goaltender was outstanding in this one. Pitching a shutout, James. It is critically important that you get the saves when you need them, but how about the structure defensively. They really tightened up and didn't give much up. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabowski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.